hello lovely people a very warm welcome to my channel today so as you can see um this beautiful oil i'm holding this is what i call emergency shooter this is my emergency shooter no frying is done here you don't fry anything before i go on i would like you to give me a like for this video okay subscribe if you haven't and please turn on your notification bell if you haven't to okay and yes so let's get into the video so this is my very ever so delicious chili oil right or emergency shit or you can call it that right it's so delicious and it can, you you do it like in a fraction of the time okay so let's get into it So let's start with the oil okay so um as you can see i'm showing this oil that it says um la espanola okay so we look at this beautiful bottle it's olive oil right olive oil from spain that i bought it's so good and it's so beautiful but when this olive oil got finished i have to throw away this bottle and i'm like i am a Ghanaian. my mother <laughs> my mother looked after me i learned from my mother she never threw anything away why should i throw this beautiful bottle away so i have put something in so if you can comment down below what do you think the oil is that i have put in this beautiful bottle made in 1840 can you imagine look at that look at that beautiful bottle so yeah that is the oil i'm going to be using you can comment down below if you think you know what i have replaced the olive oil with as a Ghanaian and if you can relate so that next is um my shrimp powder homemade shrimp powder my chili powder which is Sichuan. louis banks kindly taught me how to pronounce it Sichuan, that is it yeah okay so this one is a mixture of chili flakes and fine chili powder okay so if you don't have Sichuan, all you can do is get your chili flakes as i have here and your fine chili powder and mix it 50 50 will do and mix it okay you mix it and you have similar to shish one and um, preferably use the same color or the same chili i don't know if you know what i mean so the same kind of chili you ground some for it to become smooth and then the flakes so that it looks the same mine is not so it doesn't look the same okay so the next one here i have ground peppercorn i have ground calabash nut milk ground anise seed that is in kitten kitten ground cloves pepper and wintia grains of salem and my salt okay i also have garlic onions ginger rosemary and spring onions okay so i'm going to be using these to perfume my oil so i'm going to flavor my oil with that but before then my spices i am going to pan toast it okay so i'm going to put it all in my frying pan and i'm going to toast it for at most one minute on medium heat okay one minute not for long else it will burn if it burns your your your, your shito is going to be very bitter okay so don't let it burn okay so i'm going to just um as soon as it gets warm you know then you just take it off the heat okay so what i i'm going to be doing here i'll take off the winter which is the grains of serum i'll take all of that out and then i'm going to crush that and add it in my oil okay so um yeah once it gets warm you see because we can see a little bit of um smoke coming from the pan it gets warm just take it off and you know you make sure it doesn't burn it's very important okay then you put it that way so next um, i have my saucepan i'm going to pour my oil in it so i'm still waiting for you to tell me what oil i have transferred into this if you watch me you know the oil i'm talking about <laughs> i'm not going to throw the bottle away i promise you i won't throw it away i'm going to use it ah. so i'll have about one and a half liters of oil okay that i'm going to be using i didn't use all i ended up not using all so i'm cutting my um garlic okay 
you, you can peel it. Actually, I regretted not peeling it because I was lazy, right? But you can peel it, right? So I guess, um, you just, but it doesn't matter. I will strain it anyway, okay? So you drop your garlic in your oil. Your oil shouldn't be hot first. You should, uh, as soon as you pour it in your saucepan, you start putting in your ingredients. So there goes in my, my ginger as well. So my ginger also goes, as you can see, the oil is just cold as it is, okay? So you're going to be warming this on medium heat okay and here i'm cutting my onions okay i chose this um red onions you can use white or shallot whatever you have available it doesn't really matter you're just trying to um flavor the oil trying to perfume the oil okay infuse the oil with all these um aromatics okay so there goes in my green onions also known as scallions or um what do you green onions is that not what it's called spring onions okay it's also known as spring onions and um, that also goes in um then i'm um, going to add uh, some bay leaves and then my winter okay so my winter as i said i'm going to crush it a bit so that um the it, it will be able to hmm, i don't know what i'm saying now um i'm going to crush it so that the flavors you know inside the ring tea, know, will be able to get into the oil and uh yeah that's what i'm trying to say but bringing it into the brothel now yes and so here goes into the okay, here goes in my <laughs> spring onions okay i guess it's one sprig of spring onion right no spring onions no spring onions no spring onions rosemary yeah so here is um my bottle the bottle i'm going to be using it has to be heat proof okay and i have a funnel that i've put on so i'm going to put in all my dry ingredients which is my chili my shrimp powder and my spices the spices that we pan roasted okay well that is what is going to go in in our salt okay you have to be careful with the salt i would advise that when you're making this finish making it and before you add your salt okay finish and put the salt in little at a time because it can easily get out of hand this recipe i don't know why that is but that is what i find okay so now as you can see my my oil is boiling right so um if you have to, you can let it boil for like 15 minutes and then you just um you know take it take everything out and then pour it in so yeah as you can see i am i'm not sure i wasn't sure 100 percent satisfied that my bottle is heat proof so i'm using this heat proof uh, measuring jack which i know for sure is heat proof okay i'm adding a little bit more the chili that we just made okay i thought it wasn't enough chili right i wasn't sure that my bottle is heat proof so i'm using this one this one i know so that it doesn't break just that i don't want any problem so here i was just being greedy for flavor so I let my ingredients brown, pan, really brown. You don't need to. You get, once it's like 15 to 20 minutes, you can take everything out and you're ready to go. Okay. So I'll turn off the heat. And now the next thing is I'm going to strain because we have the winter and other things. So we're going to strain the oil into our dry ingredients and you're going to stir it. And because um, the oil is so hot, when you pour it onto these dry ingredients, it starts to cook it in a way. So um, your dry ingredients will start to look like shito, but will definitely look like shito, right? So you pour the oil, as much oil that you want to. If you want a lot of oil on your shito, you want the oil to settle on the shito, you add more. That is what I was um, sort of going for, so I added more. So already now, as you can see, the oil, look at the shito. It has a lot of oil, though, but look at how it looks exactly like shito. This is emergency shito. When you need shito, you don't have shito, you have ingredients. You cannot go through all the process. Even though I've shared with you that less than 30 minutes, it's still a, a, a little um, work for you to do. So um, I let it cool down before I transfer it into my jug, okay? So as you see, I touched it and now it has cooled down. So I'm going to pour it into my jug and then that is it. That is our emergency shito done. You need to try this recipe. It's so quick. This is actually the Chinese. Um, I, I, this I was inspired, right, by the Chinese um, chili oil. Okay, the ones you you get from the Chinese um, restaurants, the chili one. But I have added my own 
to make it more like shito like the shrimp powder and the other spices they don't add the kind of spices i added so that it tastes like our ghana shito i have added my own so i have tweaked it a bit for it to um resemble our ghana shito okay and this is a condiment the shito is a condiment right you use it to eat whatever you want to eat it with some people even eat it with bread trust me i've seen all in body house <laughs> so yeah this is the look at how this is how the oil is and it looks amazing it tastes amazing it, it looks just like shito it tastes just like shito it smells amazing it smells amazing it's just that um, it hasn't got those aromatic fresh aromatics like onion garlic ginger and those but it's just the flavor of it because we use them to flavor the oil it's just a flavor of it and it's just amazing and um as we open to look you see that it looks exactly like shito you tell me this is no shito you taste it is just incredible i tell you so yeah if you like this recipe or if and you love this video please give me a thumbs up please like my video and subscribe if you haven't and i am so grateful to my existing subscribers my new subscribers welcome to this channel okay thank you so much for your constant support and look at how delicious this shit all looks emergency shit all look at how it looks i told you i'm bringing you a lot of chili recipes there is more on the way so please stay tuned and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you're going to enjoy all the other ones i'm going to be bringing to you okay so this can be stored on your counter or it can be stored in the fridge because of the oil is going to keep for long. If you keep a lot of oil on top, it will keep for long and it can stay on your counter. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this a try and let me know in the comment below. Thank you and God bless you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.